I think speckle tracking is a really unique tool. I think today we should really use strain in everyday clinical practice. Strain is a new technology that's absolutely ready for prime time. The potential of speckle tracking is huge. I would be using it in a lot of clinical scenarios. It gives you an objective and quantifiable view on cardiac function. Strain is very fast. It's very robust. It's not very time consuming. So in the busy environment of Ecolab, it gives a lot of help with the price of little time. It's really important to every echocardiographer to learn how to use it. What is speckle tracking all about? Basically, it's another way of looking at cardiac function, but this time on the level of the myocardial fibers. In other words, how well the muscle actually contracts. It's actually quite simple to analyze a speckle tracking image, especially if you're using the so-called automated functional imaging program, which is built into the machine. I would recommend that you start with a pulse wave Doppler because here you can actually define when aortic valve opening and aortic valve closure is. Take care of a good ECG, because without an ECG you cannot trigger your loops, especially for advanced applications such as speckle tracking imaging. The contour was found quite nicely. If you're not happy, you can reanalyze it. We have all the three apical views that we were using, We've got the bullseye display. We have minus 20.4, which denotes a completely normal longitudinal strain. Frequently, at least in my experience, you will see more involvement with respect to strain as you could actually see with the eye. So now I want to show you the resulting bullseye plot. And this is the complete analysis of the left ventricle. We have a global longitudinal strain, which is below 9%, so severely depressed longitudinal function. Here we see two segments uh, belonging uh, to uh, the lateral wall with a systolic uh, stretch and a diastolic uh, shortening. This clearly indicates the presence of viability. Here is the strain analysis of our patient. Did you expect such a poor strain, which is so regionally distributed as in this bullseye display? I would like to share with you some tips, some very simple things which we can assess by echocardiography, which can help us uh, assess in the mechanics of left ventricle. The specific longitudinal strain pattern had been described recently. It includes three major points. So basically, if you have this pattern, it would be typical for the classic type of left bundle branch block where you would also see the septal flash. Remember, patients frequently develop hypertrophic cardiomyopathy during their life, and you might catch them in an early phase where the hypertrophy might not be really so prominent. So what you're saying here is that with speckle tracking, we can detect it at such an early stage before hypertrophy is really overt? Yes, and I think we should open this diagnostic tool not only to the patients but also to their families. In patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, we have a reduced global strain. But also, let's look at the temporal function and you can see some dyssynchrony in the patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So in summary, as you can see, if you combine the information, the bullseye display, with the curves, you can get a lot of information. Information which will be very valuable in specific clinical situations.